One hell of a hangar. <laughs> Look at all this space. So the central elevator's through here. And out of the loading bay. Your majesty, your precious crystal awaits you. To liven things up, I thought I'd take you on a stroll down memory lane. Of course, memories decay. Yeah! 
A sorry end for the High Commander. For anyone. He was a man with hopes and dreams. Ugh. It's horrible. What kind of fiend makes demons of men? Look alive! Company! Do you suppose your dear friends are still alive? Those who died for you, do you ever wonder what went through their minds? Can you even recall their final words? I'll come back for you all. I swear. Where's this go? The crystal had better be here. Everyone's counting on it. Counting on me. Your journey is over, Noct. Thank you. 
Please. Help me stop the demons. Why? Unharmed by the light, chosen indeed. Allow me to regale you with a tale in an age long past. An incurable scourge ravaged mankind. A tiny menace that twisted men into monsters, the likes of which you've seen. Elusive lived a savior who could cure the afflicted. His body would come to host myriad demons. Countless lives be spared. But a jealous king, one chosen by the crystal, ostracized and demonized this healer of the people, making a true monster of him. I gave you my name earlier, but you should know that it was not the name given to me at birth. Arden Lucis Kylum is my proper name. You'll never guess whose name is any of us. Killing me is more than to bring me satisfaction. Playing my crystal's power, arise as its champion. Only once the crystal and the king are no Strength, O Chosen. Once the 
sacred ring is replete, can the true king complete his ascension? And only by the true king's hand can the immortal accursed be banished and the light restored to this world. stems from the self-same scourge that wrought the demons. One so impure of body and soul was deemed unworthy of the crystal's light and forbidden to ascend. His mind twisted by spite and bent on revenge, the usurper came to bring darkness down upon our world. forebears can end the accursed's madness. It is the sole means to ending the immortal accursed. A power greater than even that of the Six, purifying all by the light of the crystal and the glaives of rulers past. Only at the throne can the Chosen receive it, and only at the cost of a life his own. The King of Kings shall be granted the power to banish the darkness, but the blood price must be paid. To cast out the usurper and usher in dawn's light will cost the life of the Chosen. Many sacrificed all for the King, so must the King sacrifice himself for all. Now enter into reflection, let the light of Providence shine within. Be waiting. 